Hello friends, we will be discussing all important six marks. So first question what we have is optimal choice of a consumer. So let's get started. Optimal choice of a consumer is nothing but the combination of The optimal choice of a consumer is nothing but the combination of indifference curve and budget line. Optimal choice of a consumer. It is the combination of indifference curve and budget line budget line shows the affordability of a consumer meanwhile indifference curve shows the combination of goods shun of goods which gives combination of goods which gives maximum satisfaction higher the indifference curve higher the level of satisfaction there are certain assumptions so assumptions are consumer is rational and wants to have maximum satisfaction okay price is given income is also same okay consumer is aware of ic indifference curve so these are the certain assumptions now how we will draw the diagram okay so this is x this is y this can be good x and this can be good y this is the budget line okay and this is the indifference curve i c 1 second indifference curve should touch to the budget line I C two, third one I C three, fourth one I C four. Now we'll give a point for each and everything. Where there is tangential, we'll give A point. Here down we'll give B point. Okay. Here we'll give a point C. Here we'll give a point D. Here we'll give a point E. Okay. Now. will explain the same diagram explanation will do here see when your income is of 200 you purchase 100 this commodity and you purchase this 100 this commodity okay good x you have purchased for 100 good y is you have purchased for 100 by this your income according to your income you have purchased this combination is of 50 rupees why you will go for lesser satisfaction when you can go for maximum satisfaction so this you have purchased for 200 rupee which is equal to your income and this is the indifference curve which is the combination which might be for 450 rupee which okay here in all of these points we have to find the optimal choice of a consumer now first we'll understand 
D is not an optimal choice of a consumer because this is lying in indifference curve 1. Why the consumer will go for lesser satisfaction when he can go for better satisfaction? So, this is not the optimal choice of a consumer. C is not the optimal choice of a consumer because it is lying in the same indifference curve 1. Okay. Now, E is not an optimal choice of a consumer because it is out of the budget line. It may give him maximum satisfaction but... It is out of budget line. It means the person, the consumer is not affordable to this combination of commodity. So, this is not the optimal choice of a consumer. This is the optimal choice of a consumer because here the person, the consumer is not only affordable but can also get maximum satisfaction. So, A is the optimal choice of a consumer. The same explanation you need to write, okay? What you need to write, the horizontal line, horizontal line depict X which mean good X and vertical axis represent good Y and Budget line is drawn and we have indifference curve. First we need to write point D is not optimal choice as Consumer can afford, will go for better satisfaction, consumer will go for better satisfaction than lower satisfaction, lower IC curve, okay. And even C is not optimal choice. Because it lies in IC1 only. So, even B, C is not the optimal choice, D is not the optimal choice. Then what is the optimal choice? Again, we need to write E is not the optimal choice. Okay, E is not optimal choice. As... It is out of budget line and consumer cannot afford it. So, A is optimal choice because it is budget line is tangential tangential to IC indifference curve so it is the budget line it, the budget line is tangential to IC curve so this is the optimal quantity and this is the optimal price how and this is the optimal choice of a consumer where he is not only affordable also which gives him maximum satisfaction. That is what you need to write. A is optimal choice because it is uh, because its budget line is tangential to IC curve which means it is affordable and gives maximum satisfaction. And then you need to write a formula. Lastly, only one formula that is price X divided by price Y is equals to utility of X and substitute of Y. Substitute of X with substitute of Y and the price should be equal. Not only the, the consumer should be affordable and can substitute the commodity as per his choice only this formula if you write enough by this diagram you will get two mark by this definition you will get 
this definition you will get 2 marks and this diagram explanation you will get 2 marks 6 marks easily you will get okay this pdf will also be available to you so if you go through with this easily you will get 6 marks it is very easy to understand and it is very easy to write so my intention is to attempt if you can go with the complicated answer also you can go it is your choice but my funda is to make you to understand the concept in an easier manner okay if you found this video helpful do like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching